What is up, YouTube? It's Lions Fan Express coming at you with that man to man press. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another Diamond in the Rough prospect video. Um, this one will be on Kendra Miller. He's a running back from TCU. Uh, really like his film. I think he's a really good player. And I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on him and why I think that he is a Diamond in the Rough prospect in this year's draft. So, uh, you know, uh, Kendra Miller, you know, he's from TCU. He's six foot, 220 pounds. I watched his games against Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas State. Um, also watched him a little bit uh, in the playoffs as well against Michigan um, before he was injured. So basically, you know, one thing that really just steps up um, on his film is he's got great balance. Anytime someone tries to tackle him, he, he always is able to just break a tackle and just you know keep his balance and maintain uh, that that level low center of gravity. So he's able to uh, really make people miss and um, in the open field, um, just making people look silly. Not really even a, necessarily like a juking kind of back. He's not like super elusive, but he is very like uh, you know good with uh, high stepping and you know spin moves and you know cutting back and just making those uh, right angles uh, to force the defenders to you know have to make hard tackles and ultimately you know he's got the strength too to uh to get over that so um you know he's got home run speed that's one thing too that kind of stands out on his tape is constantly you'll see him like just break a big one for a long gain uh usually you know he gets a touchdown if not you know he, he rarely does get caught from behind uh he didn't run at the combine but honestly if i had to say he's probably got legit 4-4 speed if not faster um he's, he's just a flyer he's quick um you know, and also a thing that kind of really stands out too that, you know, not a lot of backs have is, you know, he's a good ball carrier that has good vision. Um, so when he, you know, they pr primarily ran a zone concept scheme uh, with TCU, but when he was able to, uh, you know, get the ball, he was able to find the hole um, based off of where the, you know, the flow of the defense was going and able to cut up, uh, bend it back or bounce it to the outside. So he does a really good job of doing that. Um, he plays with patience, similar to Le'Veon Bell. Um, you know, he's not, he, sometimes he does get caught in, you know, in the backfield a little bit because he can be a little too patient, but um, he kind of lets that play develop a little bit before trying to just like run straight up the middle and get it, you know, get yards. He just tries to um, buy as much time as possible to let his offensive line set up the blocks, set up the holes before he, you know, attacks it. So I really like that as well. Um, he's not really a power back, uh, despite the fact that he's like 220 pounds, a uh, really good size. For an NFL back, um, but he plays with good strength. You know, he's definitely strong. He can um, break tackles, uh, and he's not afraid to lower his shoulder either. You know, he can do that as well. Um, and he keeps his feet moving. That's something that you know a lot of backs, uh, good backs, do. Is you know, you keep your feet moving, you're gonna fall forward, and that's exactly what he does. He falls forward, and he gets those yards. That you know, the one to two couple extra yards that really it adds up uh, when you look at it. So when you look at his stats. Um, Basically, you know, he had he had three seasons with TCU. Um, he had over a thousand yards running, uh, thirteen ninety nine to be exact, with seventeen touchdowns and six point two yards per carry, which was thirtieth in all of college football. So he, when he is getting the ball, you know, he's uh, making the most out of it. He's getting good chunk plays, um, and also he's able to. Uh, you know, catch the ball too. He's a good receiving back. Um, he has 16 receptions for 116 yards. He wasn't relied on too much to be a receiving side back, but he has definitely has the ability to be that guy and also, you know, excel as a uh, as a pass catcher as well. Um, not don't really know too much about his, you know, uh, pass blocking skill set. You know, I think that's something he can probably improve on a little bit because he just wasn't asked to do that a whole lot at TCU. At least I don't see a lot of his film, uh, you know, doing that. So, uh, maybe something that he needs to work on or maybe not that's not really part of his skill set but ultimately Kendra Miller that's the name you guys need to look out for especially as Lions fans uh, the Detroit Lions actually brought him in for a top 30 visit and I was so ec uh, ecstatic when I heard that because to me this this is a this is a guy that if you could take in you know round four shoot even like honestly I would take him in the third round but if you could take him on day day three somewhere around there through the fourth or seventh round you're getting an amazing player that adds good value um, that can be come in and be a good change of pace back and also honestly you know if things don't work out with you know like DeAndre Swift or um, 
you know, you, you can put him in there and he can definitely be a guy that can contribute right away and get you some yards. Um, really like, uh, you know, Keandre Miller. Uh, excited to see where he goes in the draft. But yeah, that's kind of why I have him as a diamond in the rough prospect. You know, it just, you know, there's a lot of good backs in this class. Um, a lot of good guys you can get in the later rounds. But one thing that just stuck out about me is that he just makes big plays. And big plays to me um, is very important, especially at the next level. And also, you know, hanging on to the ball as well. He doesn't really fumble the ball as well either. He's, you know, keeps it secure to his chest, um, doesn't turn the ball over. So, and that's most important. But when you can make big plays like that and make defenders miss like he does, you're, you're definitely in a good spot to uh, be a good running back at the next level, in my opinion. But with that being said, you know, I hope you guys check him out. Look at his highlights. Look at his tape. Uh, and tell me guys what you guys think about him. Would you like him to be a Detroit Lion? I personally would. I think he's a great value, great, uh, great pick. And the Detroit Lions obviously think so too because they brought him in for that visit. They're definitely interested and they could definitely take a shot at him um, in the later rounds. Would not be surprised one bit. So with that being said, I hope you guys like this series. We want to keep on doing some more prospects as we lead up to the draft in just a week and give you guys my thoughts and opinions on those players as well. So with that being said, hope you guys like the video. Give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, go Lions.